Hello everyone. I'm back with you again. Um, it's Friday today and I was just with you yesterday when I introduced Lottie. And I wanted to come back today just to say a few extra things and, and also show you the pram. I was going to do that yesterday but all of a sudden my camera said that was enough and I had to say goodbye. Um, so what I've done is I've taken some still photographs and I'll attach them at the end of this video so stay watching if you want to see the pram. I've done it a, a sort of a different from different sides and all of that so it's it's a beautiful pram. I love it. The thing I love about it is the, the line of it when the hood's up and the apron's on. That's how I love to see prams and I love the shape. I love the square. Well it's rectangular isn't it? But the sharper edges I love rather than a rounded pram and I love the shape of the hood. I love everything about the pram. I'm a bit pram demented if there is such a thing and I think there is such a thing because I'm it. So anyway there are some pram pictures at the end of this video. But I wanted to come back especially today with Lottie to just thank you so much for the comments that you've left. I haven't answered them yet, I haven't had a chance but they just they really really touched me. They were so kind and so sweet and uh, it's hard for me to believe them. I, you know just not, I don't, it's not that I don't believe what you're telling me, but I don't believe that, oh, how can I say, I don't believe that I'm that good at, at painting these dolls. That's my problem, that I believe you're telling me that I am, and that you see my dolls that way, but I'm just, I just feel so ordinary. I just, anyway, you know, I hope you know what I mean. It's just too hard for me to talk about, but I really, really appreciate what you've, you've said in your comments and I'll be able to reply to them perhaps tonight or tomorrow and I have read them and I really honestly they touch me so much they're just beautiful so anyway at the end of this video you'll see pram pictures and at the moment you're seeing Lottie in her romper uh, in a romper I had a look through her clothes she has got a lot of rompers but this is one of my excuse me <coughs> my favorite types of rompers in that it's blue and it's got tiny flowers Oh dear, I just got a bit funny in my throat. Yeah, blue and tiny flowers, and I love both of those things. And also it's got a ruffle collar, which is maybe a little bit hard to see. I'll zoom in on her face in a minute. Um, the brand of the romper is, I'll just show you the tag, because I'm not 100% sure how you say that. Yodu? Do you think that's what it is? Yodu? And it's um, in a three-month size, and it fits her perfectly. It buttons up the back. Um, and it's just white, simple white, beautiful white cotton. I think it might be lawn, it's very fine. And it's got tiny, tiny blue flowers on it. And the yoke is a light blue linen type fabric. And then the ruffle collar has got pin tucks, three pin, pin tucks on it. And it's just perfect on her, it's gorgeous. And it's been hot again today, about the same as yesterday, 29 degrees. But now that I've discovered I can filming good light in the kitchen. I think you're going to see a lot of my kitchen. I said, I'm amazed because right now it's sort of gone a bit grey. It's half past five in the afternoon. I think we're expecting a storm. So it's gone grey outside, but under this ima uh, not ima uh, a magnificent fluoro light, we, ha we can actually see this baby. I'm so pleased. It's a great discovery. I never thought of the kitchen before. I just headed always to an, a window. But this is brilliant. I mean, there, there is a window in, in my kitchen, but it's that's not where the good light's coming from. So she's here, my darling girl, beautiful little thing. I'm so happy with her. And um, just to answer a couple of of the queries in the in your comments, I'll just do that quickly. But I will write answers as well. But her eyebrows are painted; they're not rooted. And what? Well, oh. It was interesting, Strawberry Moon Lulu mentioned that she likes heavy babies. There's no such thing as a baby that's too heavy for her. And I thought I'd better just um, clarify what I meant when I said I had made um, Lottie too heavy. It actually, the weight doesn't bother me. Like the size of her doesn't bother me. It's more about the l overall look of her. And I don't care how much she weighs, but I overstuffed her and her head was too heavy so it makes it difficult for posing to me that's what the weight's about I don't do a lot of interacting with my babies I just I love dressing them and 
I talk to them while I dress them probably, but that's about it. I don't sort of walk around holding them. I think having four children and eight grandchildren has sort of semi-cured me of that. And I've always loved babies my whole life, and I still do. And I just love to look at this baby in the pram. To me, the proportions are just right. She lies there beautifully. She looks like a real baby. I love just walking past her. I love looking at her. So for me, the weight and the size aren't issues. It's really just the general look of the baby. Okay, so maybe that's what I wanted to say about that. And also, yesterday, I did forget to show you the tummy plate, which she does have one. I probably won't be using it, but she does have one. Here it is. Let me just see how I can best show that to you. It's a very, very nice tummy plate, as tummy plates go. I actually really like it. It's simple, and it's just the right shape and size. It's perfect. It's got a bit of glitter on it, I can see. Let me just see if I can get that off. My grandchildren were here yesterday, so maybe that's where the glitter came from. Although this was hidden away, so yeah, that's true. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, it's Chris being Christmas, hasn't it? So everything has to have a bit of glitter. So that's that. That's the tummy plate that I forgot to show you. And what else did I forget to tell you about? Oh, she's wearing a bracelet now that I couldn't put on myself. But when my grandchildren came over yesterday afternoon, my um, daughter-in-law put the bracelet onto Lottie's right wrist. And it's a, a really cute little bracelet. It's one, it's a type of bracelet that little girls used to wear when I was young. It's got a blue bird on it, and there were bracelets in it and brooches and necklaces, and you can still get them, because this is a new one. It's not a vintage one, um, and she will just wear it all the time now, now that uh, my daughter-in-law got it on for me, got it, because uh, I can't do that with one hand. There are just some things I know are not possible. Even if I sat for 10 hours, I doubt I would have been able to do it. So that's the other thing about that's new on Lottie. Um, I'm just trying to think because this has been very quick. Maybe I'll, I'll do a quick video today. That would be excellent, wouldn't it? I just want to tell you that I did go to Star Wars yesterday. I went with my son and his big boy who is Oscar, who you know as the Oscar the artist. And we went there. The boys had already seen Star Wars, but they don't mind how often they see it. And I really wanted to go. It holds a lot of, you know, it's very sentimental for, for lots of us for the same reasons that we took our children when we were little and so when Steve was little it was his most favourite thing in the whole wide world was Star Wars and he collected a lot of the toys and things. So I love watching Star Wars with him and then afterwards it's, oh mum and did you see this and this one said that and that's actually that one's daughter and you know there's always all these ins and outs to discuss and I really enjoy it. So I, I loved the movie, I loved it for lots of reasons, it was a bit noisy, a lot of shooting and action sort of stuff which I'm not necessarily keen on but when it's Star Wars it's different and of course I love the beginning, I love the classic music and the writing that goes you know, away from you, it's just wonderful. So I enjoyed it. It was a little bit long. I, I felt like there were about three or four times where I was expecting it to end when there were sort of deep moments between a couple of characters and I thought, oh, that must be the end now. And it just wasn't. It just kept going. But, but it was great fun. It was really good to be with Steve and Oscar. Um, yeah, so what else? Do I have anything else I wanted to tell you? I think that was probably all. I can't think of anything else. So what I've done is I've taken some good photographs of the pram with the apron on and the apron off and the hood up and the hood down. And I have shown you a couple of photos with, I have a net that I put over the top. It's like a, well we would call it a mozzie net or a fly net um, that people use for babies here just to keep, you know, to keep the bugs off them while they're sleeping. And I realised with, with Pippa and Jonty that they're in their best bassinet all the time and that's got a net around them and they never get dusty or you know how you people seem to you know you dust their eyes and things my babies don't get dusty because of that net and so I, I have a net that I keep on Lottie and her pram all the time so I put a couple of pictures in of that too in case you guys want to do something like that it's actually a net that I bought on eBay and it's come from China and it was like oh, two dollars or something and no postage so there's you know, no point just buying a bit of net here and just kind of somehow stitching the edges a bit and putting it over the top. You may as well just get one of these. 
and it didn't take long to come and and it's perfect it's just what I needed so that's where I got the net from for my baby and my pram because I love them so so much I'm just demented about actually both of these things the baby and the pram so let me zoom in let me just show you close up on the little face that's good fun isn't it okay we'll move Mr Tri Tripod there we go camera's behaving it's not taking too long to to focus there we are the only thing is you just can't see the blue of her eyes she looks as though she's sort of got black eyes doesn't she but there's my little girl my beautiful little Lottie I'm so happy with her and I'm so glad that you guys like her too I really am and she's in her romper today with her little feet out I did pick some bobble socks I think that's what you would call them that long socks but they've got like little bobble decorations around them but I think it's too hot and I did want to see her feet so there she is, that's my girl she'll be in something else next time you see her in the photograph she's wearing her little um, babadoo bodysuit and nothing else, that's what she slept in because it's so hot she doesn't need to wear much else so you'll see a bit of, I don't know if there's a full body shot of her in that, maybe, oh there it is, that's right. So you'll see her in that. Her body is, her cloth body is fantastic, I'm so happy with it. It's got front loading legs which is what I like. I think the body she came with was side loading. I'm not as keen on those. They don't, don't sit quite as, in, in as natural a way I think as the front loading legs do. So this body actually has like the ruching on her bottom and also on her chest but not too high not up near the neckline which I don't like because when the ruching is up too high it pulls the neck down and it doesn't fit around the, the neck ring properly so it's a bit lower it's where it should be like in the middle of her chest and she's got a really good body it's just so cute it's well padded and a great shape and she's wearing a, a little joey nappy and it, it fits her and looks really cute. I decided to try that. I could always just put a cloth nappy on with pins, but it, that's what the twins have got. So I thought I'd have something different for Lottie, just for fun. One day I'll probably change her just for fun as well. Um, but yeah, I wonder if that's... Oh, the other thing I wanted to say, this will interest Kimberly when she has time to watch this video, that this baby and probably other people, I can't think who at the moment, but this baby has ears that stick out a bit, so if you were to put earrings on her, they could certainly have the backs on, because her ears aren't like flat to her head, you can sort of see that. But I'm not really an earring person, so, um, but if anybody had this kit and wanted to do earrings, it should be perfect for them. Yeah, absolutely perfect. So, there you go, Kimberly. Uh, and I think Myra. Is Myra an earring person? No, she likes flat to the head, doesn't she? That's right. The last kit review she did, she talked about the ears being flat to the head like her own are. Um, yeah. So I think I've probably said enough. And I'll stop now. Is that really all I wanted to say? I think it is. I think you've heard enough from me today. And the next time you see Lottie, she'll be in something else another outfit this sweet little girl it is fun dressing her because she's just the perfect three month size that outfit fits just as it's supposed to love the romper I love rompers they are my most favourite things but she's got a few dresses as well as rompers and she's got a few things for winter too but I think it's a few months off thank goodness she's not going to grow between now and then how perfect is that so everything will still fit her and fit her next summer as well Alright everyone, as I said it's Friday afternoon, just gone 5.30, another hot day, and what is the date today? Oh, I think it's the 29th, yes, because yesterday was the 28th, uh, yeah, as yesterday was the 28th, so that's how it works, isn't it? And so thank you again very much for your fantastic, oh, just beautiful, beautiful, kind, amazing comments on yesterday's video. They really honestly touched me. I wouldn't say it if it weren't true, and they really did. I just can't believe that, that you like my work that much. I really can't, but thank you so much, and I, I appreciate you so much. And it, it's really good for me to hear that stuff, because, yeah, I don't really believe it for some reason. Inside me, that's the problem. I believe that 
that's what you guys see. But I think because I haven't inside me, I think, yeah, they're nice dolls. They're nice babies. I like my work, but I just because I haven't had experience seeing a lot of good artists work I don't know how I would compare with them and I think I'm just average um, anyway there she is that little darling that sweet little angel I just love looking at her so anyway I guess I better go I'll say goodbye and don't forget to watch out for the still photos at the end of this so thank you very very much for coming back and for your gorgeous comments from yesterday I really appreciate them and I'll see you all very soon. So in the meantime, take care and be kind to each other. Bye everyone.